drop from one day to the next, or is this thing keeping it building in terms of excitement and <coughs> preparation and those good things? Uh, today was, yesterday was unbelievable. Yesterday was the, was, the, was, the, was the best day. I mean, that was an intense, violent, tough get after a practice. I mean, it was, it was awesome. I, mean, I walked out of here yesterday and said, oh, this is, we play like this. You know, you know. Today was more of a focus on Notre Dame day. Yesterday was like a spring football. We only had one period where we really worked on the game plan against Notre Dame. Today we did several periods where it was more of the game plan, implementing, uh, installing uh, particular plays and stuff that we we're going to run against Notre Dame. So we, we use scout teams on both sides today, pretty much uh, most of the day, except for one period. So, and I think that's good because now you don't get bored. The players don't get bored. You, you kind of go, and then tomorrow we'll go back to the, the spring ball type of practice where we're going just against the Miami defense. And we'll have one period of, of Notre Dame, and I, we're gonna we're gonna keep doing things like that, so that these practices don't become monotonous and boring, and you know, you know, here's another just another day or another practice. So, and we do stuff at the end of each practice to have a little fun with each other. And now it's to the point where they're they're trying to figure out what what the event is going to be, you know. But it's all fun, and, and uh, but they practice really really well with a lot of enthusiasm. Has this hard you been at all? Like any sort of trial and error for you, or? Are you pretty steadfast that the plan you're putting together is is what's going to work? As far as, the, as far as the, the, you know how you're running practices, I mean, the, you know, there's a lot of newness for you here in all of this. Yes, but I've been doing. You know what's amazing? I've been doing this for 27 years, and I've, I've always had my ideas on things that I thought would help. I, I I keep literally keep like binders at each place as I've been. And I just, the, the good stuff that, that we've done at different places, I record all that stuff because I don't remember. I don't know about you guys, but I, I forget things. So I have to write this down. So write stuff down. And so, you know, it's, it's neat sometimes to go back and look at some of those things and then implement some of those ideas as to, as, to, as to where we're going. And the other thing is the staff here, We I always run stuff by these guys so that... I believe this. I believe if you guys were all, we were all working together, and I said, "Hey, what do you, you know, what do you think?" And you said something that you had a good idea. I mean, that's a good. And I, we, we we implemented that idea. You would take special pride in that. You'd be like, you'd be feel, you'd feel all in. You'd feel part of what we're doing. And that's what I've tried to do here throughout this this experience. I've tried to get everybody involved. And and I, I think I think that that work. I think it's good. I guess Coach Golden is going to come out here this weekend. Is, does tomorrow count as the weekend, or on Saturday? You think we'll be out for the first practice? I have no idea. When, Jeff, when you get to El Paso, how much do you want it to be fun for them? You know, activities or stuff like that. How much? That's part of the whole experience. It, it is to go and enjoy a different part of the country, and there's nothing wrong with that. But remember this, and I'm going to say it loud and clear: we're, we're going out to El Paso to win a football game, and. They're going to have their, their different events that we're going to do and all that, but it's going to be imperative that with all the distractions and all the things that are going on, guys are honing in on the game plan and the, and, and, and the, and the, the details of things that we're, we're trying to get done. So you will have a, what do you call that, a, a, when they have a, a curfew and stuff? Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. as soon we're as you get out there. And we're going to have a curfew, and it'll get, we'll cut it down as it get closer to the game. Right. But... We're going to work when we're there now. We're not just going out there. We're going to work it when we get out there. Okay. You know. And Jeff, during practices, can you sort of, do you sort of wander around now, or do you pretty much just stick with the offensive line? Uh, I wander around. Um, um, if I start wandering around, it's time for, I, I'm in trouble. But uh, <laughs> during, during the, um, during the uh, like stretching period or, 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 or warm-up period is when I try to get around to a lot of the different guys and stuff like that. And... Um, uh, I still have a, a group of guys I have to get ready, so it's kind of hard to do that. But uh, Ch Chantrell, is he out there today? No, he's still sick. He's still sick. He's really sick. So they stopped the one one phase of it. Now they got to stop the next phase. So I just hope nobody else gets it because it's pretty serious stuff. Hankerson. Yeah. Yeah. Hank, Hank. Hank. Hank is no. We got a couple guys that are that are. He'll be. Hank will be back tomorrow. I believe he'll be back tomorrow. I believe Chantrell will try to go tomorrow. And Hank will be. Will he'll be in the game? I mean, he'll be. Oh yeah. 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 He's fine. Hank's fine. We just there's this thing going around, and we don't want to. The problem with it is, is according to the doctors, is you get hype. You, you get. You know. 
dehydrated because you can't keep any fluids down. Okay. So we don't want to put them out here and do something crazy when we still have a lot of time left before the game. Anything else? Thanks, Jack. Oh, I see him every day. Oh, it's on him as a blocker. A lot. Oh, he's improved. I mean, we were just talking yesterday in the staff room as we were grading the practice home. We were talking about how much, kind of like I talked about Corey White, how much he's improved. He, Maurice has improved immensely. He's starting to understand the offense now, and it takes it takes time to do that. You know, that's why. It's why, to me, when I like, for instance, when I was at when I was at the school, I came before I came here. I was there seven years. So the players that came through there it was just like they, they handed the torch down to the next group, and they just. So once you've created the culture that you that you want to, to create, the right mindset. Now it was just learning the system and learning the, the scheme and the techniques that I was teaching. And once the guys understand what you're teaching them. That's when they really get to be good because they can play at high speed. Because it, it, it's like it's just like second nature for them. And we're at the point now where with some of these guys, they just know what I'm, what I'm teaching. You know, so. How's the, uh, the the competition at quarterback? Just how's it been the first four? It's been great. Days? Every day I leave here, I, I I think to myself, who's ahead? Who's on top? Who who did better? And it just every it goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And they both bring a lot to the table. They're, both really good players. Do you expect to make that decision or announce that decision? We'll announce it, but not right now or not. I think there's still a lot of time. Will it be in El Paso? Or? I, it, it'll either be in El Paso or prior to just going there. But it's just a staff decision that we'll make. Thank you. Thank you.